That was I Don't Want to Talk by Wallows. Um, during the tune, you were telling me that the way this band formed, because I was on some like, oh, who, child actors, mm-hmm. maybe they're industry plants. Mm-hmm. You said their parents were members of a child actor parent support, support group, group, and that's how they met. And that's how they met. And yeah, they've been basically making music together since they were in their preteens. So yeah, they're like old friends. They're all all very sweet um and you know and i they're really good i love their music they have their own sound but it still feels current and i want nothing but the best for them so you you said you met them once Uh are you do you like know them know them or just kind of met them once yeah i know them i mean like yeah i I like best friends friends. yeah they're coming to the show tonight i heard Right. Well, they live in LA. Yeah, well, we're flying them out. That's we're the surprise we're doing for you. That's the sound treatment, baby. Out. <laughs> yeah, um, I only met Dylan once, but last time I saw Cole and um and Brayden was at the last Coachella in 2019. Oh damn! Yeah, I've never none even of been us to knew. Coachella. Really? Wow! Yeah, never. I've been to uh, I've been to uh, Sasquatch. Sasquatch. To, which was R.I.P. Li- yeah, I know. I they, play Sasquatch. Yeah, but they flew too close to the sun. That was some bullshit when they like pulled that. We're gonna do two festivals, and they're gonna be different lineups, and yeah. you're not gonna know who you're gonna see. Of course, mm-hmm. you're gonna your festival's gonna fall apart. Well, one they flew thing, too close to the sun. One thing I specifically remember about Sasquatch though is that the year that I played, the Cure played as well. Oh, that's dope. And I started crying. <laughs> I started crying just as I was walking up here in Robert's voice, like literally still sounds so good. It sounds like an angel. And I started crying in Sadie from Speedy Ortiz's arm because oh. <laughs> they played as well. And like she accompanied me. I was like, let's go see the cure. And literally like holding me like a baby they and like sobbing. Always would pull the craziest lineups. Yeah. And when you put them in that atmosphere, because I'm sure they were playing on the main stage and you got to see like the gorge behind them. The crazy them thing is, is that it was low key kind of empty because they were playing the same time as I think like Instagram or something. Oh, yeah. And like. <laughs> All the kids was like over there, and I was just like, "Oh my god!" That actually is like the funniest thing ever. (laughs) The fanagram pulled more people than the cure. That's like it was so dark, but I was like, "Whatever." I'm like really close and getting my life by myself, and I could cry in peace alone. That's the best venue in in the U.S. in my opinion. I just went to Red Rocks for the first Mm. time, and Red Rocks, I was like, "It's pretty cool," but it's no gorge. The gorge is incredible. Problem is, it's like three hours away from anything. So, Mm -hmm. like, good luck getting there. Um, all right. Well, uh, we kind of went, went uh, off the rails here. Um, <laughs> let's just go ahead and get into round three. <laughs> round three, the final round. I'm going to wrap it up with a song that you put out, I think, in 2018. It's called Room. Okay. Wow. Yeah. What do you think? Well, what's the wow? You Are you impressed? Or are you like, that's a deep cut? It's slight deep cut. I'm also just, you know, I'm very shocked that you didn't play anything from Ratchet. Um, well, I, yeah, I guess I... I, I I subconsciously had like noticed somewhere that it was in some interview where like you were like I don't want to play anything <laughs> off that album and then I was like well personally I, look I, 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 I love through. you for th- for for worrying that I will be triggered but I also I went through the yeah. albums and uh, like I mean look I'm not gonna lie to you I didn't listen to every single song but sure. I'll click in go through kind of see what I'm hearing and just tonally like I I liked all all, all this other stuff more you know yeah I mean? yeah no you're you're uh revelations and on Mm -hmm. you know person which is like i don't know y'all's y'all's a a rare breed and every time i like (laughs) meet y'all i'm like yo you really get me like you really know me as an artist because i feel like people who started from ratchet they see me as kind of like this transformative artist and i think people who start a little bit after or even go back to ratchet they kind of see me more as like this kind of like guitar based artist yes well what i had i mean again correct me if i'm wrong but what i had like briefly read was that ratchet was actually a departure for you because you were yeah. in like a guitar band with yeah. someone else doing mm-hmm. doing that type of music yeah and then you were like i'm just gonna write this yeah. this thing on my own this slight departure and then that's what ratchet was and it un- it not unfortunately that's crazy to say yeah. that but you know it blew up it and blew up people started to what i thought it that. would yeah it blew up past what i thought it would and i think you know i was 19 and i was young and i didn't understand how important first impressions were um, I, I still don't because a lot of because a lot of people's first albums gone on the radar and i thought that was, was like gonna happen for me and i was just like okay like yes this album's an experiment but it's my first album will go on the radar and then i'll do like what i need to do and like you know like i think people think that 
you know, Ratchet is like triggering for me, but I just, I don't think it is my best work. And I, and I think a lot of people feel that way. And I think it's just a matter of taste. Um, I love, I think, I think I'm not disappointed that you didn't play anything for Ratchet. Don't get me wrong. Um, but I think just even by your three picks that those three picks, I think kind of like overall show the type of artist that I am now. Cool. Well, I'm glad I, I'm glad I picked the good ones. Um, yeah. uh, one thing I also will say is for listeners, uh, you can't just listen to these three songs and go, I, I get Shamir. Like yeah, I would no. literally go and, and listen to a couple things off every album at least mm -hmm. because you never know what is going to be your cup of tea. You know what I mean? For me, I, I thought these three were an accurate representation and they were cool. And I, of course, I did have to play the new single too. So like- Well, it, you got the more like produced kind of like mixed, you know, middle ground between kind of like electronic production and guitar stuff with yeah. like gay agenda. And then you got the like more straightforward indie rock stuff with um, diet. Yeah. And now you're going to like, the stuff that's really, really near and dear to my heart and the country. The country and like, stuff, yeah. And Room is definitely more in a country vibe. And like, there's a country song, even on Ratchet, it's the bonus track, but even on Ratchet, there's always kind of like in the, either an acoustic or country or vibe well, song on every record. Yeah, I mean, even on that first EP um, mm -hmm, from 2014, yeah. Lived and Died Alone, the mm -hmm. Lindy Ortega cover, like, mm -hmm. I, that was one of my honorable mentions. I was going to play it and then just to show range because that's the most, that's my favorite part about your music is that you have range and it's so Well, a so lot cool. of people don't know that I started off doing country. I didn't know that until now. I started off doing country up until I was like 15 and then I got tired of always been the odd person out <laughs> and that made me angsty and that's when I started doing punk stuff and from punk went to pop. But mm. um, country always is kind of like, you know, I always had to show that part of myself with every project that I do because mm -hmm. it's just so important to me. All right, well, here we go. This song is called Room. <laughs> 